Hello everyone, this is Bobby Gallagher here and welcome to episode 50 of Let's Play Sega GT 2002 slash online aka episode 2 of Chronicle Mode. In the last episode, we have been Chronicle Mode with the Distance Skyline GTR KPGC 10 released in 1970. And now we're going to do it again, but this time with the Safana RX3 for 1975. Now which colour should I choose? How about this green? Dark, how this deep dark green? Nice. Now I'm not going to read all this again, it's all the same stuff, so let's just go straight in to the late 70s. Okay, and there's a Corvette. Uh. Yeah, the Corvette Stingray is like the fastest old car in Quantica mode. So yeah, but thankfully this car, I do it slower than the Skyline. It is still pretty fast and it still handles. Okay, so yeah. Oh, sorry. The Savannah RX3 GT. And with that, I'm already in first place. That was easy. Again, the real difficulty comes from the 90s races. So, yeah. So, yeah, back up Brick Raceway again. Just let you check where each type is ahead somehow. Okay. <laughs> Interesting engine noise this car is. Yeah. But like I said, this is slower than the skyline, but still a decent handling and it is kinda fast. I, I got a four second leave from the Corvette Stingway, so yeah. Give me my tapping. I just love this song so much, and so glad we hear it so many times. So I should go through this title and finish up this first lap. Love this part of the music. Uh, okay. Now on to the last lap. We've got a pretty huge lead going on. Now it's a seven second lead over the Corvette Stingway. Wackos! What is Wackos? What? What? What are wackos? Microsoft, yeah, advertising in their own game. Uh, so this is an Xbox exclusive, and Microsoft made the Xbox, and... I gotta look at what wackos is. Uh... Well, I know wackos is Japanese, that's for sure. Okay, never look up a sponsor in this game ever again. <laughs> ah. Of course, Xbox, Sega. Yep, the same Sega that they saw the Hedgehog and told you I know, and Jet Set Rare Future. They also made this game. I wish Sega could do more games other than bloody Sonic all the damn time. Pretty sure I'm not the only one to say that. Okay, KTC. Got nothing to do with KFC. I just had a KFC today. It was delicious. There you go. There's the first race done. One down, five to go. So give me those five points. And yeah, let's move up to the early 80s. But first of all, let's get an upgrade here. And this time, I'm getting the tires pronto. <laughs> okay. Now I should move on to the early 80s. What cars are we to deal with this time? Oh, look at that. And a rival is the Safada RX-7 GT Turbo. Which looks like a Mantis. Or Grasshopper, I don't know. And... 
quite a long distraction in the game this early on. Uh. Well, looks like we got a Lancer here as well. Oh, Wendell is here too. And there's the distance skyline again. Okay. Don't know who's in front. Oh, yeah. And of course, the Audi Sports Quattro. Because, of course, it's like, that's like the fastest early 80s car in all. You look at it. No, you don't. Yeah. Uh, at least we'll take the on this long ass track early on at least. Look at the trees. Look at my one second lead. Ooh. JDM. Hmm. Hmm. I mean something but I don't know what. I know car expert, okay? I just love driving cars, okay? I know nothing about them. I mean a little. Okay, just Gonna go through Hairpin City here. KTC. Uh, B. Fujisu. So all these Japanese are Danes, except for Audi. I don't think that's Japanese, although I could be wrong. Alfa Romeo, Sega GT Online, Jaguar, Mercedes Benz. I'm just reading all the banners here. There's so many banners. <laughs> Buy our products, buy our products, we want your money! Hello there, the Savannah RX7 GT Turbo is in second. Yeah. Don't know why Quantum Mode inputs rivals in this game, but. Hmm? So now in the second half of this track, or second quarter. Okay. I'm glad this car does make the, these turns pretty well. Okay. I love how this car looks nothing like the modern Master RX's. <laughs> uh, how times have changed. Okay. Hey, how'd you go from RX3 to, to RX7 in just five years? I don't know what the numbers mean. Anyways, now on the second lap, I'm probably gonna look up this car with Wikipedia again. I did last time, why not now? Uh. Okay. Hmm. Apparently, the normal version of this car is actually called the Master Grand Vanilla. Huh. That's interesting. It's also known as the Master 808 or 818 in what no country it is. It's a barn or what? Well, this car's a lot of names, that's for sure. Wow. Well, again, looking up this car. And <laughs> uh. Right, we're out from 1971 all the way up to 1978, so... Okay. Huh. Huh. Anyways, am I done yet? No. Nearly. I hate this... Honestly, I hate this track. Because it's just... It's just really too bloody long. It takes three minutes just to do one lap. This is a really bloody long course. I hate it. This only done here. Eh? Still don't understand why they go from RX3 all the way up to RX7.
Anyway, it's a few star waste here anyway, <laughs> so... <sighs> there you go, we've got two goals here. Let's get another upgrade. The ball and turbo course. I like to switch from handling speed to using and handling speed every time. So here you go. We're now... Now we're up to the late 80s. We've got a Truno there again. Yeah, the ones you said with are not always going to be the same manufacturers as yours because. Well, it's just didn't put enough cars in the game, I guess. I don't know. <sighs> so here we go. This, this is actually going to be the first tough race here. Oh, past the Lotus. Any other car? I don't know what that was. Oh, the 205 T6. Oh, no, no. S car in front. <laughs> okay, past the Peugeot. And I'm now in front. Okay. I might as well start reading about about this car then. Let's see. Um, uh, now are we on, are waiting for this? C's one S one hundred two A and S one two four A nineteen seventy one to nineteen seventy three. Um. Which actually, I don't think it is this this car. But not on we anyway. The first Mazda Savada went on sale in September 1971, and remained in production until 1977. It was sold as the Mazda RX-3 internationally when installed with the road tree engine, and was otherwise largely identical to the inline four quid Mazda Grand Familia. Essentially, the Savada and Export RX-3 was differentiated from its piston engines, simply by a nose panel with dual round headlights and a more Prominent and pointed honeycomb grille, and wan taillights in the rears of sedans and coops. A station wagon version, the RX3 Sports Wagon, was sold for just one year in the US from 1972 to 1973, when it was replaced by the Lucy slash RX4 wagon. However, the Savannah Sports Wagon remained in production in Japan right through until the end of Savannah production in 1977. This year, in all markets except North America, all cars were designed S102A and came with a 982cc 10A. S124A cars introduced later on came with the 1146cc 12A, while the larger S S124A A eventually replaced the S102A 10 in most markets. The S102A remained on sale alongside the S. 12.4A in Japan through to early 1974 for all the CS2 updates. Okay, I'm gonna pick up a grade here. Weight reduction. Yeah, let's go with weight reduction. Or am I? Yeah, I should go with weight reduction. Really, I should do. What does pass me choose though? Uh, first, I'll go for weight reduction. No, nope, I'm going for suspension. Okay, whatever. No. Okay, where was I? Uh, oh yeah, what's the why I was not paying attention to the video here? Oh, that car. You know that? I think that I, mean, I think I remember that car is probably gonna screw me over. Just you watch, anyways. Just gonna focus on the waist here, actually. Dear lord, that of a savannah is fast. I think it's. <laughs> well, we're now in the early 90s here. But here's where things start to get really tough. As I see, I'm still stuck in sixth place. Oh, I just got fifth. Can I keep it? Or you better, can I pass these cars? Huh. Ow. We should go on weight reduction. What was I thinking? Oh, third place. Ooh, two minutes behind, though. Okay, I guess. Oh, second place. Kanska. 
try to pass this at her too, but it's really far away, right? so uh, I'll wait where I left off. Uh, here we go. While a larger S124A was replaced the S102A in most markets, the S102A remained on sale alongside the S124A in Japan through to early 1974 with all the series 2 updates. The series 1 S102A remained on sale in some markets even longer, being available in the United Kingdom until the 1975 model year at least, though this was most likely as also a stock of earlier production vehicles remaining unsold due to the combination of both the fuel crisis and the Rotary's engine's early reputation for poor reliability. While the CS1 Savannah and RX3 were powered by the 10A in Japan, Australia and Europe, the North American markets got the larger 12A taken from the RX2 couple to either a 4-speed manual or all-man transmission. Along with this engine change came the Chaz Prefix S124A. The 1972 Savannah slash RX3 sports wagon was the world's first rotary powered station wagon. In September 1972, the Savannah GC went on sale exclusively in Japan. This model received the larger 12A motor with 125 horsepower and was coupled to a 5-speed transmission. Along with this came slightly lower suspension as well as wider 5.5 rims. It received revised taillights and a 5-speed badge on the rear, an Army 12 badge on the grille and a completely redesigned dashboard and console exclusive to the model. It also had unique leather-like vinyl upholstery with GT embossed busted on the headrests. It came also with a chest code S124A. The 10A engine of it was 105 horsepower and 100 LB feet, whatever. Sealed, sealed to 60. On sealed to 60 time was about. You no. Know, can go for on sealed to 60 miles per hour in 10.8 seconds, and the car ran a 17.6 second quarter mile. In 1972, all rotary edges had a die-cast water housing coated with a new process, the new transplant coating process TCP, which is fair on steel which is then coated with pro, giving greatly increased engine life. Okay. That's saw sort of one part of Wikipedia page red. I don't I don't even really understand anything, I sure don't. Again, I'm not a car expert. <laughs> I don't know, it's the other masters. Yeah, he saw my first place. What a dick. Yeah, I tried to catch up to him, but I was just too slow. Should go in there, wait. Wait, reduction, buddy. So, yeah, that. That other Savannah stole my first place. What a dick. Oh, well, looks like I have to deal with a silver. Ugh. Okay, get that weight reduction. Good. <laughs> okay. Now it's the hardest part of the playthrough. The late 90s. Oh, we gotta deal with Arc 7 Type RS 4. I just hope I can. Hope, just hope my acceleration is good enough. Oh. No. <laughs> it's not good enough. Well, I don't think I'm fast enough actually. I should have gone at port polish. Yeah, because we're now on the second longest course in the entire game. The sheep, the sheep track. And it's got lots of straight paths here, so it's going to be quite difficult to overtake science cars. Oh, it's to overtake the Supra, overtake the S2000. Now I'm going to try to overtake the skyline here. Oh, there we go. Now I've just got the RX-7 and the Impreza. Determination! Roll we'll Wayne to green! Oh, that gate was too small for me to pass through. Got to catch up again. Hmm. Okay, oh, getting closer, kind of. And of course, the Arc 7 is in first place now. Fine, I'll try to overtake this in Tresa. There we go. Huh. Huh. 
Now I'm going to try to overtake this RX-7, which I doubt I'm going to do here. Now it's just slightly faster than me. Ah, I now want the straightways. Yeah, it's going to outspeed me. Oh, oh, maybe not. Nope, I passed him. First place. That's not going to last long, because he's... He's slightly faster than me, or she, I don't know who's driving in there. Well, gotta pass it again. Three turns. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, knocked into the grass. First place. Now it's gotta keep it. Huh. Okay, I might as well read more from this about this car from the Wikipedia page. The name Master Safana was used on the rotary power model sold in Japan as a co-op sedan and wagon. Internationally it was called the Mazda RX-3. It was smaller and sportier than its brother, the Capella Rotary RX-2, and was largely identical to its conventional inline four donor model, the Mazda Grand Vanilla. It was available from September 1971 through 1978 in Super Deluxe Co-op, Deluxe Saban, and Station Wagon forms. The Super Deluxe Co-op was heavier, 884kg versus 864kg, and carried an optional body stripe, clock, rear defogger, and a center console slash high set and collapsible steering column. Sold from 1972 through 1978 in the United States, the RX-3 version was extremely successful. So successful we got in this game. <sighs> it originally used a 10A rotary engine like the Master Vanilla Rotary Cua slash Master R100, but US cars shared the larger 12A engine from the RX-2. Performance-wise, the 10A RX-3 was much able to match the RX-2 with 12A. Um, did I get first? Yes, I got first place! Yay! Now let's continue on to match the RX2 with 12A. With a weight to power ratio at 10.9 kilograms per kilowatt compared to the RX2's 9.9 kilograms per kilowatt. The RX3 was slower. The RX3 was. Yeah. Anyways, what upgrade should I get next? Get a port polish. Yeah, that's what I'll get. Oh, get a port polish. Don't get the muffler slash. Yeah, get a port. Get a court course past me. Good. Okay. T1. The 12A RX3 wasn't able to match the RX2 with 12A either, despite its lighter weight. The smaller engine version has the internal model code S102A, while the larger one is known as the S124A. Getting a lot. YouTube video notifications here. <laughs> Anyways. In Japan, the installation of a rotary engine gave Japanese buyers a financial advantage when it came time to pay the annual road tax in that they bought a car that was more powerful than a tradition inline engine, but without having the penalty for having an engine in the higher 1.5 liter tax bracket. Okay. So yeah. Okay, how am I doing? I'm in 4th place. I really haven't been paying attention really. Okay, just gotta pass this Lancer. Try to catch over this other RX-7. Pretty fast though. There you go, managed to pass it. Now I'm just gonna cross the off road. And now I'm gonna try to catch Daily's Exchange? Oh come on, that's like one of the best cars. That's like the car I need for career mode. Ah. Well, I'll try. Anyways. So this Master RX3. It's all variations are also called the Master Grand Vanilla or the Master 808 or the or the A18 or the Mitsa or the Savannah or the Kia Brisa 2 or the Kia K303. Then this car's a lot of names and variations. This car definitely has a lot of variations to it. And clearly I'm driving the RX3 GT variation here, which is probably the wasted car. Dear lord. 
This car has a lot of variations. Anyway, let's go take a short gear here. Am I going to catch up with the extra G? Nope. Getting close though. Okay. Getting there. So, yeah. I'm going to get done with the RX3, thankfully. Hmm. It's got something called a rotary engine. I have no idea what that even means. Again, I'm not a car expert here, so I don't really know. Oh, I guess here's something else I can talk about. The, Sava the Savada slash RX3 was the next master racing entry following up the success of the Cosmo and Felina Rotary. The Savada debuted with a win at the September 1971 Fuji 500 race. The, car the cars battled with distant skyline on the Japanese Grand Prix in 1972, winning the touring category there and preventing the GTR from winning 50 consecutive races. The cars continued to be compared to claiming over 100 victories by 1976. A special V100 model was released for sale in Japan to commemorate this occasion. Many vehicles continue in club racing to this day. In Australia, the RX3 proved very successful both on and off the track. Race track, I mean. One of many RX3's racing in the 1975 Bahas 1000 caused more than a royal look after placing fifth outright and first in its class for the second consecutive year after its initial class win in 1974. The RX3 dominated Class C in 1975, holding four of the top five positions. In North America, the RX3 had much success in SCCA and IMSA competition. Many RX3s are still competing, and one in particular is the SCCA Super Duck production car driven by Irish driver John Cummins. The RX3 unfortunately was eventually replaced with the Master RX7. So that was the racing part of Wikipedia page. So yeah. And also I won the I also won There you go. What, what do I say? We being Quagabo with the Master X3 and now we unlocked the co the Cosmos 4. We can now lose in quick battle. <laughs> Man sold it but at least I can still lose in the quick battle here. So yeah I'm gonna go see Zora again. Yeah, yeah, the legend racing will never die. So yeah, that's two cars down. Um, we got another car to do in Green Locks in Pokemon mode. Yep, Green Locks the Renault A110. <laughs> so whatever. Next time, let's play Sega G2002 such online Quagga mode. We shall be using the Toyota Celica 1600GC. So, this is Morgan Who, and I'll see you next time. Lee, people.